To explain the background and motivation of see-through project, I would like to start with this question. The question is, how could scientists and artists, so much different kinds, can collaborate together on perception? And in my opinion, uh, the uh, enrichness and profound aspects of perceptual experiences are the key. And both scientists of my kind and artists are interested in these aspects of subjective perceptual experiences and this is the shared interest and that's why we can collaborate together. I'm Peter Mays, I'm the Executive Director of the Los Angeles Art Association. And how did you meet Professor Shinsuke Shimojo? Actually it was very easy. Uh, one of the participating artists, Elizabeth Tobias, came to me with the project. And after that, we set up a quick meeting with Shin, where he kind of gave me a better overview of how he saw the artist and his kind of scientific perspective collaborating on this project. Elizabeth had worked with Shin in the past and thought it was a good fit. And after we met, I found Shin's approach to the collaboration, specifically the part about the physiology of seeing to be especially potent for this project, and we started the ball rolling right then. Well, a bit of context. This um, collaboration model has some historical reference here at the Gallery 85. In the past, we have partnered emerging artists with established artists in service of a larger exhibition or a larger installation here at the Gallery 85. I found it interesting to collaborate uh, with a scientist or a thinker to expand you know, the potential of this process. How this function primarily was we set out an open call for all of our artists and Shin wrote a little rationale for the project and the artists had to provide both visual references but also a short paragraph on why they thought that they would be a good fit for the project. At which time Shin very thoroughly went through every submission and selected the participating artist. After which time, uh, we set up a meeting with the artist and Shin, and there was a lot of kind of back and forth communication after that initial meeting to work on the content. I think it was very well received. In the current contemporary artwork, there's a lot of cross pollination between other disciplines, so I thought that see-through and the construct we created with the artists and the scientists was you know, particularly timely. You know, on a personal level, I could not have been more pleased with the, the outcome of the show. It, it really seems as a high watermark, I think, for our programming here. So I'm very proud. So as a result, um, with a dozen of excellent uh, artists, we came up with quite a few installations. Uh, just to name a few, uh, concepts or uh, ideas such as uh, surveillance, uh, small world networks, uh, skin, body, face, and then volumetric color. Those are the, uh, some of the interesting aspects of our installation.